And isn't anybody looking at the stats? I mean, three out of four marriages go right down the shitter, right? If you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't gonna open, you'd be like, yo, fuck that, I'm not going. Marriage, it's a loaded gun. Uh, more specifically, divorce is a loaded gun. Now, you know, marriage was never a sweet ass deal for men. But at least back in the day, you know, you go into your coal mine 12 hours a day, seven days a week, you could find some solace in the fact that you would come home and uh, your family that you toiled years and decades for couldn't just be ripped apart from you, at, at, you know, so whimsically, just because what? Because your wife was bored? So, marriage, it is a loaded gun. It's loaded with the bullet of no fault divorce. So this bullet of no-fault divorce, amongst other social factors, has pushed the divorce rate up to 40-50%. And although both men and women can file for no-fault divorces, statistics show that about 70% of the time, on average, it's women filing for divorce, or men about 30% of the time. For me, as a college-educated man, university-educated man, I would most likely partner with a university-educated woman, in which case the chances of my wife filing for divorce would be 90%. But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it. Now, you tell me why I should take a 90% chance of being shot. Why is that a good deal? Now, see, let's think about that for a sec. What do people use guns for? People use guns to kill people, yes. But they also use it to leverage power over other people. You know, hey, give me the money or I'll shoot you. Give me this or I'll shoot you. And so on, right? So... <laughs> Once a woman knows that power she has in the family courts, she can use that divorce bullet and the gun of marriage. She can get away with whatever the fuck she wants. Pretty much. Is this the line to lose half my shit? Awesome! The fact is, and the fact is most of the time, guys are earning more money and have more assets than their wife, thanks to hypergamy. And if they do get shot by the bullet of no-fault divorce, they're gonna be paying alimony, they're gonna be paying for her lawyer fees, they're gonna be paying child support payment, they're gonna be paying divorce settlement. She's gonna live in the house that you're paying off even though you can't even see your family anymore. Well, what about me? Now, if there ever was any sanctity or sacrament to the institution of marriage, it has surely been eroded by, you know, Western, whatever the fuck, gynocracy, gynocentrism, whatever you want to call it. It is fucking done and dusted. No fault divorce two or three decades ago. The world has never seen that. It's shocking. And what it does is it incentivizes divorces. It gives people, specifically women, a loaded gun to loom over a man's head. Why would you want to do that? That's why I don't want to get married, because I see marriage as a loaded gun. You want to go to brunch on Sunday? Fucking no!